a representation of uh, Laszlo Neymet, who wasn't able to come here, unfortunately, so he asked me to uh, present uh, his slides. So, this presentation uh, basically uh, is about uh, Libre Logo and uh, the beautiful pictures that were made with Libre Logo. So, I hope everyone knows what Libre Logo is, but uh, if someone uh, doesn't know that, uh, he or she can look it up from the Wikipedia. So, now we have a Wikipedia article. Libre Logo is a logo type Python programming environment that uses interactive turtle vector graphics. And so on. And the cool thing is that uh, this uh, Wikipedia article wasn't written by uh, Laszlo, but uh, some other people from the community who actually uses uh, this uh, uh, piece of uh, software and uh, thinks that uh, it should be on uh, the Wikipedia. Also, uh, <coughs> some uh, uh, articles uh, in, in Hungarian uh, press about uh, LibreLogo when LibreOffice 4 was released. This was the first uh, version of LibreOffice where LibreLogo was uh, included by default. Uh, it demonstrates well that uh, the vector graphics uh, produced by LibreLogo uh, looks uh, uh, well in print. The, this is uh, another uh, article which, uh, uh, which is about uh, the development of uh, LibreLogo. So our press coverage, uh, at least in Hungary, is uh, not bad at all. But uh, Michael Meeks also mentioned uh, LibreLogo as a key feature in his uh, keynote uh, on FOSDEM. So, uh, the goals of uh, this project. The, the primary goal uh, is to help uh, uh, teaching of uh, programming in uh, primary schools. Uh, the uh, primary school curriculum uh, uh, usually have uh, the <coughs> uh, mentions uh, logo language as a, as a programming language and, uh, and the pupils uh, learn programming via, via, uh, with this uh, graphics. However, uh, uh, before LibreLogo, there wasn't uh, a free uh, implementation uh, of, uh, of this logo language. Um, they had to use uh, proprietary software for this on proprietary platforms. And uh, those uh, programs also produced uh, low quality bitmap graphics. So it's a, it's a clear uh, advantage to have uh, um, free software and vector graphics and, uh, and the multi-platform uh, implementation of Logo. It uh, also uh, helps uh, uh, the children to learn the basics of uh, word processing, text editing, image handling, and uh, it helps the accept in the acceptance of uh, LibreOffice in, in schools. On the other hand, uh, it's good uh, for uh, us, for LibreOffice developers as well, because uh, this uh, LibreLogo implementation was written in uh, Python. It's less than uh, 2,000 uh, lines of code, so it's not a big uh, program. However, uh, it uh, serves as a testbed of the Py you know, uh, uh, framework within LibreOffice. And uh, the, si the simplicity uh, can attract uh, more future developers. So <coughs> these are some uh, example uh, pictures that were uh, created purely uh, by uh, LibreLogo with a few uh, lines of uh, logo code. I will show examples, uh, more examples later. So as I uh, said, the uh, acceptance and, uh, um, of uh, LibreLogo is uh, quite good uh, in some countries. Uh, this, uh, these uh, pictures uh, were made on a Brazilian uh, conference. 
and it shows that uh, um, teachers in, in Brazil uh, started to use uh, LibreOffice in, uh, in their work. Also in Hungary, uh, there was a, a book written about LibreLogo. Uh, it was written by a teacher who uh, uses uh, LibreLogo in her everyday work. So the, this uh, book uh, starts from the very beginning, uh, at a very basic level, and, uh, and leads uh, up to the entrance exam in programming uh, at, at the, for the university. <coughs> this book uh, yeah, was uh, one of the, of the series of uh, books that the uh, Free Software Competence Center in Hungary released uh, last year. Uh, there are uh, two other books that are related to uh, LibreOffice. There is a, the Writer Guide, and uh, on the <coughs> bottom uh, left uh, corner, there is a, another, another guide, which is about uh, application migrating uh, applications uh, to the LibreOffice platform. I had a, another presentation yesterday uh, about uh, this uh, topic. So you, to, to put uh, this uh, in uh, some context, uh, I'd like to say a few words about uh, this uh, e-governmental free software competence center in Hungary. It was a, a project uh, which was uh, basically uh, funded uh, by uh, the, <coughs> the government from the European Union money. Uh, it was planned for two years from uh, 2011 to 2013, uh, it employed uh, six people who uh, created uh, training materials, developed software, wrote books, and so on. And uh, one, of, one of the uh, uh, sponsors of uh, Ribelogo development uh, was this uh, Free Software Competence Center. The other uh, sponsor was the Free Software Foundation uh, Hungary. Uh, who uh, sponsored uh, on one hand the development, on the other hand uh, it uh, released uh, uh, printed material uh, and uh, uh, poster about uh, uh, LibreLogo and also host the LibreLogo.org uh, website. This uh, LibreLogo.org website was started uh, this year and uh, it publishes articles in English and in Hungarian. And uh, on, the, on these pictures, uh, you can see a few uh, examples what uh, LibreLogo was good for. For example, uh, uh, somebody created a, a new scale for, for an old uh, uh, device and uh, managed to put a vector graphical image to an old uh, Nokia phone. Which, uh, so this uh, shows where that uh, the SVG, tiny SVG export uh, of uh, LibreLogo uh, fits well even to uh, these old uh, uh, not smartphones. So as uh, uh, the development uh, reached some uh, stable level, now it's time to, uh, to, to produce uh, something useful with, uh, with the program. So the, the emphasis now is not uh, uh, on development, but rather on producing uh, uh, pictures, uh, images uh, with LibreLogo. So uh, this... Uh, uh, the big draw is, uh, is a, a project uh, of, a, an, of an independent charity called uh, Campaign from Drawing, who has one aim to get uh, everyone drawing. And uh, LibreLogo.org uh, has uh, sympathy with this uh, campaign. Therefore, uh, 
many, many, many uh, images uh, have been created already, uh, especially for uh, Wikipedia. So uh, on, on Wikipedia, uh, there are a lot of uh, images, figures, uh, which are low resolution bitmap images. And, uh, and the goal is uh, to create uh, high definition uh, vector graphics instead of them. So for example, these uh, um, regular polygons were created with a, with a small LibreLogo program. The source code uh, is uh, on LibreLogo.org. And what is interesting that uh, the all uh, uh, polygons were created with one program uh, and uh, the, the number of the uh, edges uh, was uh, a parameter of, of a program. So you can think about how difficult it would be to uh, create uh, each uh, uh, figure uh, separately. It, uh, it's uh, <coughs> much easier to create them uh, programmatically. Also, uh, the next uh, example, these uh, RGB color wheels. I don't know what's wrong with this projector, but uh, the green is, is yellow. And <laughs> so again, <laughs> you cannot, <laughs> cannot really see what, what, what it looks like. Probably. Oops. It's, it's better now. <laughs> OK, so <laughs> no, now you can see, see the colors. Also, uh, uh, these uh, hexagonal chess variants uh, um, were, were created uh, with LibreLogo, and uh, the chess uh, figures uh, are uh, from uh, special Unicode fonts. So the, these are not uh, geometric shapes drawn by uh, um, one by one, but uh, LibreLogo can can use uh, fonts and uh, and position uh, the characters within very very precisely. So this is a a trick for creating uh, complicated uh, uh, drawings. Another, another example for Wikipedia, this uh, sleep symbol, which uh, uh, was uh, standardized. However, on Wikipedia, um, wrong image uh, was uh, there, uh, a half moon uh, character. And uh, it was uh, easy to create uh, this image with LibreLogo, knowing uh, how to create it. So, um, you can see the, how to uh, the con construct this uh, shape, and uh, it could be uh, easily programmed. And then another example uh, is a, a mathematical problem. So how can we tile a square using other squares whose uh, sizes are all different and have integer lengths? The boy who loved math. Yes, yeah, it's Erdős, the, the, the famous uh, Hungarian uh, mathematician. Uh, so this uh, was one of uh, his uh, problems, and uh, and somebody uh, proved that the mm, minimal solution uh, to this problem is uh, that we can see on this uh, image. And uh, it would be hard to, to draw this uh, by hand in draw. However, it's only about uh, uh, 50 lines of code in LibreLogo. The source code is also on uh, LibreLogo.org. Or it's been also proved that uh, there are uh, that many uh, convex Tangram shapes, and uh, this could be also produced very easily with LibreLogo. It's also have been uh, put to Wikipedia. Yet another example of this uh, um, 
Reuters World Triangle, which is a, a shape that uh, is not possible in three dimensions. So it's an optical illusion. Or the flag of the European Union in uh, several versions. Or we have the uh, mesh of the Rubik cube. This is another interesting uh, example. This uh, one to dimethyl chicken wire molecule, which uh, started uh, as a joke, but uh, it was uh, uh, synthesized since then. So now it's a it's a real <laughs> uh, real molecule that uh, it's possible to uh, to create. Uh, and uh, the high definition vector graphics of, uh, of it uh, was also put to, to Wikipedia. Um, sometimes this year was the 2000th anniversary of colored choke, and for this reason, this uh, SVG was uh, created. <coughs> Maybe I can. I'm glad to show the animation. Hopefully it will work. Yes, but not on the screen. Libre logo is uh, capable of uh, uh, exporting uh, animated SVG as well. So this is a, um, a custom in, in Hungarian schools that uh, I don't know, eight years before the, the summer holiday, children start to uh, uh, write on the blackboard the word uh, vacation. Uh, from uh, from the end uh, and the last uh, letter is the V. Okay. Let's get back. Uh, uh, include uh, creating more uh, materials, more learning materials on LibreLogo.org, or examples, and uh, also uh, create more uh, printed textbooks. Because uh, there was one uh, released in, in 2012, but uh, it should be extended, probably more colors wouldn't hurt. And uh, last, I wanted to demonstrate that uh, it really looks good, even in uh, in when we zoom into the <laughs> uh, cover of the book. So the, the vector graphics uh, are real, real cool, even in high DPI resolutions. So. I think this is the last slide. The people who helped uh, to create uh, LibreLogo and LibreLogo.org. So that was it all about. If you have any questions, 